Vaccine hesitancy is this place between accepting a vaccine and refusing a vaccine where you're thinking twice for a number of different reasons. And uh, in those reasons can be confidence reasons. You can hesitate because it's too far away, can't get there, and you can hesitate because you don't think you need the vaccine. The World Health Organization in J January this year included vaccine hesitancy among the top 10 global health threats because it's starting to take a toll on not only vaccine acceptance, but we're seeing the consequences in disease outbreaks. There were nearly 83,000 cases of measles in just Europe alone. Why is a region which has some of the better access and certainly not an education issue in terms of awareness, how can that happen? And that's where issues like confidence come in. I set up the Vaccine Confidence Project nearly 10 years ago. We found that safety is quite a key reason, but we also found that there are three key domains, areas that people have confidence issues. Confidence in the vaccine, the product, sometimes lack of confidence in the provider, or that could be that vaccinator or the local clinic, um, and sometimes it's the policy or the politics, and that's much more of a, about distrust in government for whatever reasons. Uh, one of the areas that we've had growing challenges in globally is around social media and the rapid and viral spread of some of these concerns and mis particularly misinformation. So we need to get different approaches to get ahead of that. If we look back, this, these uh, technologies have changed rapidly. We can certainly expect that in the next 10 years they'll be very different and changing technologies. We need to stay ahead of it. Certainly need to keep up with it.